I'm Cody Schneider. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build an AI writer inside of Excel that'll write 350 word blog posts in minutes. Let me show you uh, how many, what's this word count is. So yeah, around 350. Cool, so this is, uh, what we're gonna build is repeatable so that I can go and find other keywords that are similar to this. And once I've built this template, I basically can have it right for any keyword phrase um, that is uh, that will fit into this template. You can see it here working, basically writing each of these blog post sections. All right, let's dive in. So the first thing that you're gonna go do is you're gonna go find keywords that are related um, to the product or the, the website or the service or whatever it is that you're selling. Um, you're gonna look for, for ones that have a similar structure. So um, these are called a keyword family. Um, and I'm, uh, the example I'm gonna use is content marketing for accountants, content marketing for uh, contractors, for schools, for construction, et cetera. So what I'm then going to do is I'm then going to prompt ChatGPT, write a blog post section title, or sorry, write blog post section title ideas that include the keyword and then whatever that keyword is. And then from that, I'm going to say, Hey, I want, I, 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 I'm going to look and see where that keyword, like we want this keyword basically in every title. So I can actually change this prompt to even make it better. I can say, um, write blog post section title ideas that include the keyword, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, titles must include keyword and we'll have it go again. And then I'm going to take that keyword and just look for that. So once I found um, these titles, what I can then do is start to think about, okay, what's the structure of an article where I could just replace this keyword with all of this, uh, all of these other keywords from these other, uh, from the same keyword family. So once I've created that outline, this is this example, right? So it's like basically the keyword. So when we think about it, um, the keyword that we're giving it, it's keyword, and then it's uh, what is keyword, and then it is why you need to do keyword. And so when we think about this, it's, uh, and I'm just gonna delete this real fast, make it easier to read. Um, so it's uh, keyword, uh, so it's uh, content marketing for plastic surgeons. What is content marketing for plastic surgeons? Why you need to do content marketing for plastic surgeons. The unique challenges of content marketing for plastic surgeons. Strategies and tactics for uh, content marketing for plastic surgeons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So then, what's happening here is I have a prompt that I'm passing into a variable, and I'm going to show you how we make this. And then I'm uh, have this input which is again coming from that keyword and I'm building basically these concanted uh, um, uh, uh, titles out of this. So again, what, what's happening here is I'm saying, hey, combine what is, which is this title section with this here, um, which is the uh, keyword input uh, cell. And then that's gonna basically generate this combination of inputs. So anytime that I change this, all of these are going to change. And then the layer down from that is I'm then saying, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this prompt and I'm going to call this input that I just generated. And we're going to then write a section. So when we look at what we're basically prompting the AI in the prompt section, it's write a three paragraph body or blog post section for include the title and top or include the title at the top of this section. And so again, I'm just going to pull this down you're gonna see it write those sections live right now. And so how this is all happening is through what's called an app script. So an app script is basically a piece of code that you can use to modify Excel, or sorry, Google Sheets. And so that app script, I actually had GPT, or I had Chad GPT write this app script, and I'm gonna share it with you guys. It'll just be in the link, you'll have access to it. Um, you'll just need to add your own API key to basically be able to do this. And you can see it just wrote that article for me, right? And it's not gonna be perfect. There's gonna be inconsistencies, but again, this is a hacky way to do this. So once I uh, uh, have built this though, the magic is that I can then just go and basically find all the keywords, again, so content marketing for financial advisors. When I paste this in here, right, it's just gonna automatically write that new blog post for me. 
and I can do this as many times as I want. Um, you could even like take this a step further where you know you give it a list of keywords and it writes for every uh, <laughs> for every keyword in that list. The so that's you know the positives of this. And again, that article just wrote live and the word count on it. Um, let's go. Uh, command shift, shift C. So again, thirty around thirty four hundred uh, words. Now the challenge with this is that the article isn't going to be super co cohesive. So this is the negative, right? So it's writing without the context of what it wrote previously, and so this is why, like, um, you know, I mean, honestly, this is why we built Draft Horse in the first place, which is one of the companies that we have. Um, what Draft Horse does is basically it solves that problem where it's writing cohesively. Um, also, you don't have to, uh, and let me pause to get in here. All right, so I'm in the software now and I'm just clicking into one of the sites and then hitting create new. So with this, I don't even have to create this outline, right? I can just drop in those keywords. So I'm just pulling those in. I just copied and pasted those in and it's gonna write an article for every one of those and it's gonna have the contextual awareness to know what it wrote previously and what it, what it's going to write in the article so you get a cohesive document. Again. This will be a little bit disjointed. I have seen these rank before though, depending on the competitiveness of the keywords. But anyways, um, yeah, that is how to write a ton of content and really build an AI writer um, inside of Excel that you can use to basically <laughs> pump out content using your own API keys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Happy to dive deeper. Cheers.